beautiful friends and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of March 2nd where we are in a new month and still in a retrograde. <laughs> Mercury is retrograde. How's your Mercury retrograde going, by the way? Please let me know in the comment section down below. We celebrate retrogrades um, on this channel. I think it's important that we use them, we get into them, but I also love the comedy of things that come up during a Mercury retrograde. I have a mercurial chart, so whenever Mercury's in retrograde, I'm gonna edit my videos a lot. I'm going to have to go back over all sorts of business things a lot and I have definitely been doing that so I would love to hear your experience and the good news is is that we're almost out of mercury retrograde it comes out on the 10th so we are almost there hold on tight and let me know how it's going for you down below now this week it's actually really nice because as we begin the week on Tuesday the 3rd Venus and Saturn are going to come into a square with each other now this energy um, can bring a little bit of challenge to relationships because Venus would kind of just like to do things as she wants. There doesn't really need to be any structure. Let's just everybody love everybody. And Saturn is like, get your life. We've got to get together. We've got to get serious. We've got to buckle down. Venus, I want you to make money. Venus, I want you to have a relationship, but we have to be serious about how we're getting those things done and what those structures look like in our lives. So one of the things I think it brings to your attention is truly, where are you in your finances? Where are you with your money? Where are you with your skills and your talents that you take out in the world to make money? And also, where are you in your relationships? This is a very serious question. This is a very serious issue for all of us to deal with. Are we being responsible with our money, right? Are we being responsible with who we're sharing our lives with? This includes friends, um, government agencies, people in one-on-one -on -one relationships, the structures and the materials in our life. Are we being honest with the integrity of those things in our life? So this square will stimulate you into a position where truly, on one level, if in relationships under this square, you start to feel or experience this feeling of rejection or being pushed out or something like that, or that you're having to push against something, look at that. That is your indicator to look at that. But also, it stimulates us into action, so it kind of puts a little fire under our, our high knees so we can get this area organized. Now, if you do happen to have this placement natally, you may have even experienced those feelings of rejection or being, it's a challenging place where you really want to have something and you feel like you're denied it many times, but what it gives you is an awesome opportunity to grow. Like, you have the kind of pressure and the kind of drive to grow under this square if you have it natally that a lot of people don't have so it's really kind of a neat placement it is a tough placement sometimes but it's pretty neat as well so if you've got things to address with that this week be open be honest use your integrity and look at that okay now as we continue to go through the week I think it is going to be easier to go back over these things, to look at them, to address if your soul is feeling filled in the financial, romantic connection relationships that you've got, because we've got both Mercury and Venus getting on the way, right? First of all, Mercury is gonna move back into the energy of Aquarius this week, still retrograde, that's how he's tracking backwards. So he's moving into Aquarius, but in Aquarius, Mercury's like, oh my God, I can speak, I can say things, I can, I can have details, right? Because remember in Pisces, he's not super logical, super detail oriented he's got to act more Piscean so here Mercury's like I have been waiting weeks to say things so you're gonna be able to express things you're gonna be able to say things you're gonna maybe even go back to being a little bit um, having the hyper mentality there's lots of thinking lots of ideas lots of speaking going on but it will still be in retrograde area so during the retrograde of Mercury back here in the Aquarian energies again Please review, please look at your friendships, your organizational connections, connections and beliefs that you have around causes. Where is spirit leading you to connect in a different way to something bigger? Um, in your technological life, if you need an upgrade, this will be a great energy for you to be able to see that. But ultimately, Mercury, even in retrograde, has a lot more clarity here in the Aquarian energy. Now, as we continue to move forward, Venus is going to jump into the energy of Taurus, and she is comfortable here, right? Venus is a ruler of Taurus and Libra, but here moving into the energy of Taurus, she's comfortable. She's laid her shoulders back, she's ready to express ready to bring 
harmony, ready to do things of value, ready to get very comfortable, ready to express at her fullest. So this is a wonderful placement, like I said, to be able to look back over these things, hash them out, see them with a little bit more clarity this week as well. Now, as Venus comes into Taurus, it's like, yes, this is the best thing ever, but Venus is going to run into Uranus as she comes in here. So it's just like this one day connection. It genuinely lasts for about a day. I feel like when the energies happen, even though it lasts for a day, I can feel it for a couple days after because it brings a shock. It brings a surprise this week. Uranus is the unexpected. He's intuitive. Let's do something different. Let's get out of the rut. It's intuition and genius at its finest. Over here in the energy of Taurus, right, this is about value, how I make money, how I use my creativity, who I love, who I let love on me, right? These are important energies to be considering as we're looking at our relationships and our values going forward. Now, at this particular point this week, if you think back a couple weeks ago, we had a new moon in the energy of Pisces, which put us in a position to have to look back at past behaviors and also past ideals and redefine them. So now as we run these energies into the energy of Taurus, who is all about value, your ideals from that moon can help to shape and guide your energies this week, you guys, in what are the ideals that guide your values, right? So use that this week. Tell me how it goes as you um, are experiencing that and manifesting that and what's coming to your attention. When Uranus is in the game, you really just have to be prepared for surprises. And yes, Mercury is still retrograde. A loved one can come back from the past. You can have someone who is an ex that comes back from the past. You can definitely have these connections that come back from the past, but then they're in a present energy for your reevaluation, okay? We are also going to, in certain parts of the world, certainly here in Colorado, we are going to spring forward as we get into this week as well. So be prepared to reset those clocks. 2 a.m. on Sunday is when you do it so that you can potentially be on time with the rest of the world. So keep that in mind too. If you are working with people who are in different countries, different states, different time zones, maybe double check in with them during this Mercury retrograde that your appointment has adjusted to the correct time so that everybody's on the same page or just enjoy a little bit of chaos of everybody being in a different time zone for just a little bit, okay? All right, you guys, I think that this is going to be a brilliant week. I think there's plenty of things to get done. There's plenty of energy you can use from what we've experienced in February. You gathered your information. You gathered your evidence. You gathered new ideals. Now you can start to see them come into action as we're here in March, and especially as we move towards the 21st, where Saturn is going to step into Aquarius, where it's like idea explosion. But let's just do this week first, okay? I love you guys so much. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye, everybody.